Tennessee 40, LSU 13. And man, oh man, this game started off at just nightmare fuel for LSU fans. I mean, just to fumble the opening kickoff, and Tennessee scores, what, three plays, four plays later? It was it was so fast that you didn't even know what had happened, really. Um Tennessee won the yardage 502 to 355, the one yards per play 6.5 to 4.9, rushing 263 to 55. 55? I mean, <laughs> if, if LSU is running the ball 28 times for only 55 yards, that is a problem, an absolute problem because uh, Jalen Daniels, like, that's what he does. This team was the number one PPA per rush offense in the country. They were they were great. Uh LSU special teams, yikes, it says holy said yes. Uh, there were there were so many problems here for LSU. And it just started off as a complete dud. Complete dud. Uh continuing on, uh they won drive points twenty to fourteen, did Tennessee. They won turnovers two to nothing. LSU had three fourth down failures. Uh yeah. And that's and Tennessee went three for three on fourth down. Uh, LSU actually won the third downs, 47% to 44%, but, I mean, they they just couldn't keep the drives going. Uh, this was this was a good spot for Tennessee to figure out exactly what they were. You go on the road to Baton Rouge, that's a tough place to play all the time. Jalen Daniels kind of let this thing rip. Once they realized that they could not get things going on the ground, uh, and they were already behind early, I mean, they were, back, they were down 13 nothing at the end of the first quarter. Jalen Daniels, 32 out of 45 for 300 yards, one touchdown, one interception. It's not bad, honestly. Uh, Inan Hooker, on the other hand, on Tennessee, 17 out of 27, 239, two touchdowns. Yeah, uh, just super efficient again. Just doing his thing. 10 rushes, 56 yards for him as well. Uh, Holy South said LSU starting left tackle, going to the hospital on Friday was a big deal. Yeah, Will Campbell, uh, obviously prayers out to him, but... Yeah, that's that was a big deal uh, for the running game. I mean, starting left tackle is that's a huge, huge situation. And I saw that and shared it out on Friday night, and was like, oh, okay, this is weird. Uh, so, I, and and I haven't seen any reports on what's going on. Um, just crazy, just crazy. JJ said the hurry up offense is good, but it does have weaknesses which Bama will exploit. Plus, Tennessee's defense is just bad. Uh, yes, and no. Right, because that that offense is there are absolutely ways to exploit it. You can bait that offense into doing things that they don't necessarily want to do. But you did see last year. I mean, that was a tight ball game with Alabama and Tennessee in the fourth quarter until they got like a I think a pick six and a couple of big plays went Alabama's way. Alabama ends up winning the ball game fifty two to twenty four, but it was I think twenty eight to twenty four late in that game with like ten minutes left. So it's not like Tennessee couldn't play you know, last year. Uh, but this Tennessee rushing defense has been pretty impressive. I mean, in, in this ballgame, uh, they, let's see, average yards per rush, LSU had two yards per rush. Even without your starting left tackle, you should be better than that because that's, people talked about Tennessee's defense forever. Tim Banks is a very aggressive calling defensive coach. He's going to bring guys off the edge. He's going to bring uh, blitzes to try and cause disruption, that normally doesn't get a running game stopped. And yet, they've got a defensive line that looks like they are pretty, pretty good. So, I, I cheers to Tennessee for getting this thing knocked out. Uh, because, man, that was this line was like two and a half pretty much all week. Three in, in most spots. But, man, uh, odds makers thought this thing was going to be close. And it never was. From the opening kick, it was never close. So, Props to Vols fans, because you guys got a squad this year. That was awesome. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.